We're live in Southwest Miami Day. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. All right, thanks for that, Gary. Now the focus for so many is on preventing violence on campus. About a thousand students are rallying right now with Miami Police Chief John Timoney in an effort to do just that. CBS 4's Jim Barry is at the rally and he joins us with more, Jim. Okay, Cynthia, we are on the campus of Florida International University, and you know, maybe the best way to curb school violence in the upper grades is to get a big message to kids in the lower grades. That's the thinking behind this very timely rally, which was already set up before we've had this recent spate of violence, and hopefully kids at this rally will get the message. No guns! No guns! No guns! No guns! That's what we choose! It was a pledge of allegiance against school violence. It was recited by students at a rally which had a central theme. Life is precious. Uh, once you hurt somebody, you can't take that back. That message hit home this week with the tragic murder of one student and the frightening revelation that numerous weapons were found at other Miami-Dade middle and high schools. Miami Police Chief John Timoney told these elementary school kids that reporting kids who bring weapons to school is not being a tattletale. Title failure is when somebody misbehaves in class and you tell the teacher on them. And we all, nobody likes a title tale, right? This is not title tailing. These are life and death decisions. This may be, you know, saving a fellow student's life. Fifth graders from eight different schools attended this event. The thinking being that it's crucial to get to kids at this age. We definitely uh, targeted fifth graders because they're entering middle school where a lot of this kind of stuff is, is thrown at them. And so we hope that this prepares them a little bit for middle school. If you know somebody who brings in a weapon, you're going to tell the teacher? Yes. What about you? I'm going to tell the teacher too. Why? Because they bring your weapons to school and they might stab somebody. But sometimes like teachers, they don't listen, they don't have important things to do. So I just go in the office and tell them. But you will tell somebody? Yes. And that really is the bottom line. Kids not only have to act safe, but they have to know that it is okay to report kids who are not. And if they do get that message, then maybe more kids will grow up and attend a university like FIU. We are live at Florida International University. I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 News. All right, thanks for that, Jim. And there's a way for you to check the history of violence at your child's school. The CBS 4 I team spent months crunching the numbers on school violence and results for all South Florida middle and high schools right at our website, cbs4.com slash iTeam. The murder of Juan Carlos Rivera, the latest in a string of violence against young people in South Florida. As we speak, Miami's police chief is leading hundreds of school children in a rally against violence. And that is where we find Seven's Vanessa Ruiz. She's live in West Miami-Dade with more for us. Vanessa? Hey, Christine. Well, even though event organizers told 7 News that this rally has been in the works for months, it obviously takes on much more significance when you take a look at what's been happening throughout several Miami-Dade County public schools this week. Let's go ahead and show you some video that we shot just not too long ago. There you see City of Miami Police Chief John Timoney leading an anti-violence pledge today and following him almost 8,000 fifth graders from several Miami-Dade County public schools. Now, this pledge against violence happening at FIU's South Campus, it was created by the Do the Right Thing program, and the idea, once again, is to pledge an entire school year without violence. Now, obviously, you can't talk about violence and public schools without talking about what happened on Tuesday of this week over at Coral Gable Senior High School. Juan Carlos Rivera stabbed to death, and according to police, his alleged killer, schoolmate Andy Rodriguez. Obviously, this tragic stabbing, putting and shedding a light to what's been happening throughout several Miami-Dade County schools, not to mention also the fact that just two days later, seven students were arrested for bringing some sort of a weapon on campus. Now, we spoke to several of the students that attended today's rally, and we also spoke to Chief John Timoney, and this is what they had to say. I think that's sad and that's bad, and like whoever did that is just crazy. The minute a young man brings a knife or a gun, nothing good, nothing good can happen as a result of that decision. We've got to make sure they don't make that decision from the get-go. We've got to make sure that decision is made, that school authorities know about it. 
All right, so what you are looking at right now is the Victory Against Violence Pledge card. Each of the almost 1,000 children that are still inside this arena received one of these today. And the hopes of the organizers is that it's not only going to be through words that they're going to get through these kids. They're hoping that perhaps maybe through song, dance, poems, anything that will help them get that message. And that message, of course, violence is never the answer. That's it for us. Reporting live this afternoon from Southwest Miami-Dade, I'm Vanessa Ruiz, 7 News. Also in the news here at 4.30, a teen stabbed at school, six students arrested for carrying weapons to campus, and a teacher finds a gun in a bathroom all in just one week. Today, hundreds of students made a pledge to try to stop the violence. Seven's Vanessa Ruiz was there. To hereby solemnly pledge... City of Miami Police Chief John Timoney leading an anti-violence pledge and following him, almost a thousand fifth graders from several Miami-Dade County public schools. I want to like I want to to um, go on a program when it helps children learn that violence is a bad thing. The pledge against violence happening at FIU South Campus Friday, created by the Do the Right Thing program. The idea is to pledge a school year without violence. The timeliness of this is obviously this week we've seen a wave of school violence, including uh, a student murder. That murder, the tragic stabbing to death of Juan Carlos Rivera at Coral Gables Senior High School on Tuesday and just two days later, seven students arrested for bringing a weapon to school throughout Miami-Dade County. The minute a young man brings a knife or a gun, nothing good, nothing good can happen as a result of that decision. We've got to make sure they don't make that decision from the get-go. We've got to make sure that decision is made, that school authorities know about it. I think that's sad and that's bad and like whoever did that is just crazy. Each one of the 800 children that are here today participating in this rally got one of these, a victory against a violence pledge. It's an important message which organizers are hoping it's going to get through to them, not only through words, but obviously through music, song, and dance. That message, of course, violence is never the answer. Reporting from Southwest Miami-Dade, I'm Vanessa Ruiz, 7 News. A massive rally in Miami today to prevent violence at South Florida schools. It comes on the heels of a student stabbed and killed on Tuesday. Seven other students arrested for having weapons yesterday and a gun found at a school today. As CBS 4's Jim Barry shows us, about a thousand students rallied with Miami Police Chief John Timoney. No guns! No guns! No guns! No guns! That's what we choose! It was a pledge of allegiance against school violence. It was recited by students at a rally which had a central theme. Life is precious. Uh, once you hurt somebody, you can't take that back. That message hit home this week with the tragic murder of one student and the frightening revelation that numerous weapons were found at other Miami-Dade middle and high schools. Miami Police Chief John Timoney told these elementary school kids that reporting kids who bring weapons to school is not being a tattletale. Title tale is when somebody misbehaves in class and you tell the teacher on them. And we all, nobody likes a title tale, right? This is not title tailing. These are life and death decisions. This may be, you know, saving a fellow student's life. Fifth graders from eight different schools attended this event. The thinking being that it's crucial to get to kids at this age. We definitely uh, targeted fifth graders because they're entering middle school where a lot of this kind of stuff is, is thrown at them. And so we hope that this prepares them a little bit for middle school. If you know somebody who brings in a weapon, you're going to tell the teacher? Yes. What about you? I'm going to tell the teacher too. Why? Because they bring your weapons to school and they might stab somebody. But sometimes like teachers, they don't, they say they don't have important things to do. So I just go in the office and tell them. But you will tell somebody? Yes. To reinforce what they heard today, every kid at this rally will sign this pledge card. The bottom line is, not only do they have to act safe, but they have to report other kids who are not. At Florida International University, I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 News.
safer hallways. Hundreds of students are making a big promise to Miami Police Chief John Timoney that they're taking a stand against violence in their schools. Following this week's string of violent behavior in South Florida schools, school board officials say the timing could not have been better. Claudia DeCamp.